यदाहवे पातु भवंति धम्मा आता पिनो जायत हो ब्राह्मणस अथस खंका वपयंति संभा यथो पजानाति सहेतु धम्मं यदाहवे पातु भवंति धम्मा आता पिनो जायत हो ब्राह्मणस अतस खंका वपयंति संभा यथो खयान पचयान अवेदी यदा हवे पातु भवंति धम्मा आता पिनो जायत हो ब्राह्मणस विधुपयं तिथि मार सेनं सूर्यो ओ भास मंथ लिखं Dear listeners, subject to the discourse today, dependent origination, the law of dependent arising. Today, the theme is the teacher of the three worlds, the fortunate one, the fully enlightened one after his attainment of enlightenment in the province of Uruvela on the banks of river Neranchara remains seated under the Bodhi tree for seven days experiencing the bliss of emancip emancipation. According to the first three discourses of the Udana, the Buddha the Lord Buddha, at the end of the seven days, kept attending thoroughly to the law of dependent arising during three watches of the seventh night. The three verses we brought up as the topic of our sermon today were uttered by the Lord Buddha as peers of joy called Udana, proclaiming that he attended the law of dependent arising in three ways during the three watches of the night. Then we can explain these stanzas, the topic of our sermons are those Uda, the, the peons of joy. Yada have patu bhavanti dhamma atha pino jahayatu brahmanasa. When phenomena manifest themselves to the to the ardently meditating Brahmin, Atasa Kanka Papyanti Sabha, then his all doubts get dispelled, Yato Pajana Ti Sahetu Dhamma, since he knows the casual law. The next stanza Yata Have Patu Bhavanti Dhamma. Atha pino jhayatu brahmanas. When phenomena manifest themselves to the ardently meditating Brahmin, Atasa kankha vapayanti sabba, then his all doubts get dispelled, Yato kayanang pachayanang avedi, since he knows the extinction of conditions. Then again, Yadahave patu bhavanti dhamma. When phenomena manifest themselves to the ardently meditating Brahmin, dispelling hosts of Mara, he stands like the sun illumining the firmament to the, in the sky. Now we have some problems. Uh, what are they? Yatha have patu bhavanti dhamma. What are the dhammas? What are the phenomenas are many, what are manifesting? Then what are the sahetu dhamma? What are the what are the cash, what is the casual law? 
dear ones today the sermon on the dependent origination or we can call it as the law of dependent arising according to the paticca samuppada vibhanga sutta in sangyukta nikaya in nidana sangyukta I'm going to preach this sermon focused on Sutta Pitaka. It may be a little different what you have heard before, because in Abhidhamma and commentaries, it explains on uh, three lives, uh, past life, this life, and next life uh, dependent origination. But in Sutta Pitaka, it explains about the dependent arising of this very moment. Anyone can read, read that sutta. So many suttas focused on this moment. Like Mahanidhana Sutta, Mahahati Padopama Sutta, and so on. Then, dear ones, there are two things. Those are one is the law of dependent arising, law of dependent origination. And the other thing, other one is the dependent originating things. Paticca samuppada and paticca samuppanna dhamma. Paticca samuppada means a law. Paticca samuppanna dhamma means the things what are dependent originating. Paticca samuppada, the law of dependent arising, is this, what is? Imasmin sati idang hoti, imasu pada idang upajati, imasmin asati idang nohoti, imasu niroda idang nirujati. Thus, this being, this comes to be. With the arising of this, this arises. Imasmin sati idang hoti, this being, this comes to be. Uh, the, the arising of this, this arises. Thus, this not being, this does not come to be. This, this does not come to be. With the cessation of this, this ceases. This is called Paticca Samuppada. The law of dependent arising, the law of dependent origination. This being, this comes to be with the arising of this, this arises. This does not being, this not being, this does not come to be with the cessation of this, this ceases. This is the law. And the things what are dependent originating, those are Abhijja pachaya sankhara, sankhara pachaya vinyana, vinyana pachaya namarupa, uh, namarupa pachaya salayatana, salayatana pachaya paso, paso pachaya vedana, vedana pachaya tanha, tanha pachaya upadana, upadana pachaya bhavu, bhavu pachaya jati. Jati pachaya jara marana suka paridiva dukkha domana supayasa sambhavanti. Eva metasa dukkha khandasa samudeva hoti. That means the Avijha uh, sankhara. From ignorance as condition, preparations arises. Preparations arise. From the preparations as condition, consciousness arises. From the consciousness, name and form. From the name and form, the six sense spaces. From the six sense spaces, contact. From the contact, sensations. From sensations, craving. From craving, uh, clinging. From clinging. The existence from existence to birth to birth from birth at as condition arise decay de and death sorrow lamentation pain grief and despair such is the arising of the entire mass of suffering those are those are 12 things the ignorance avijja ignorance preparations uh, sankhara Vinyana means uh, 
consciousness or cognition we can both use these both words then the nama rupa that means the name and form uh, then six sense bases that means salayatana then uh, vedana means sen sensations then tanha means craving then uh, upadana means uh, clicking Uh, then ex uh, then bhava bhava mean existence the concept of existence then birth that means jati then the entire mass of suffering the death and uh, uh, decay and death so that those are the 12 things those are the 12 uh, uh, to those are those are the paticca samuppanna dhamma ignorance preparations uh, cognition no consciousness then name and form six sense bases sensations uh, craving clinging existence birth decay and death those are the 12 things so those are the or dependent originating things the dependent origination is the uh that law that law is the dependent origination this being this comes to be with the rising of this this arises this does not come being this not being this does not come to be with the cessation of this this ceases so i will explain uh, this how the lord buddha uh, has comprehended this that is in lord buddha's lay time he was a prince one day he saw uh the all people all person and a sick person and and about a, and a funeral and in that time he feel he uh, he feels so, so sad about himself or oh, i also have to be like this so this life is useless i need to find a find a liberation so his only problem is decay and death that is his problem then he uh once he in the body under the body tree he developed the uh mind after that he see he has so some uh, his past lives million billions of past lives uh, he he has watched in that every life in in that life i was like this in this life uh, i was i was born like this uh, then i become decay and death and died and again uh, born decay death again born decay death after that uh, he developed the divine eye the dibba chakku then he saw the the beings uh, dying and rebirthing in another places oh that person uh, in that time oh he he did he died oh now he uh, become in that place then he again say oh that animal died, died this moment oh uh, it um, becomes on that place like that way uh, he developed these uh, knowledges in that time he understands he must mean sati jara maranam hoti he must upada dara jara maranam upajyati that means from from, from the, when water rises uh, the they can death arises they can death arise now uh, then he understood in that every knowledge he he has watched after the birth decay and death comes come came then again birth then again decay and death so he found he has found the uh i answer the cause of decay and death is the birth birth is the cause of decay and death so again he uh Uh, he contemplate what is the cause of birth then he got the idea the cause of birth is the existence the concept of existence because uh 
we have an idea there's a world i am living in this world so because of uh, this thing because of this concept of duality that is called existence that existence may be according to the karma world karma world mean uh, where we feel the visuals sounds tangibles uh, smells and tastes and it might be uh, a brahma world so um, existence mean the concept of duality the world and i because of this uh, concept how to uh, i will explain a little more when when we go to the the deepest point um, please wait so uh, again here he contemplated what is the cause of uh, existence he got the idea clicking upadan clicking is the uh, cause of existence because of clicking uh, we feel the existence then he find the, uh, he was searching the cause of uh clicking then he got the answer the craving is the cause of clicking then he uh contemplating again what is the cause of uh craving he got the idea the cause of clicking is uh the sensations if we have a pleasant sensation we try to uh gain more if we have uh unpleasant sensations we try to we we have a craving to uh, get off separate from that if we have the neither pleasant nor no unpleasant sensations uh we like we like to uh, continue that so the craving uh works in ourselves like this way so again uh then he again think about what is the cause of uh the sensations he got the idea the contact is the cause of uh, cause of uh, sensations the contact mean pass uh, lord buddha has given the definition of this tinnang sangati passo tinnang mean three things sangati mean gati means uh, going sang mean a prefix about a uh, together the together going of together together going of three things we call pass what are the three things external internal and consciousness and cognition uh, if we feel oh, there if according to my sound there's the bante sound here is i am listening and um here, here and here's the uh, cognition here's the uh, i'm i'm experiencing this and by myself like that way the external internal and uh, middle the cognition no consciousness that idea when we have this idea that we could the contact pass the together going of three things tinnang sangati passo then again he can uh, explain what is the cause of pass cause of contact he got the idea the uh, six sense bases are the uh, the cause of pass cause of contact what are the six sense bases i and visual ear and sound nose and smell tongue and taste body and tangible mind and thoughts mind and things so those are the uh, six sense bases then he, again he uh think about what is the cause of uh six sense bases he got the idea the name and form is the cause of uh six sense bases what is the name and form the external uh, lord buddha has uh, and venerable sariput also uh explain what is name and form vedana sanya chetana paso manasikaro idam ucha tausur nama चतारे च महाभूता चतुर्ण महाभूता महाभूता uh 
from the solidity, liquidity, temperature, and air. Uh, and the things what reflect by those things, those four things. The, what are the things reflected by solidity, liquidity, temperature, and air? Those we called form. That, that we call name and form. I will explain more clearly. Wait. Uh, then again, he contemplated what is the cause of uh, name and form. Then he got the idea the cognition uh, is the uh, cause of name and form. And now, uh, listen very carefully. Again, I will explain. Then again, he, uh, according to that sutta, according to suttas, uh, again, he contemplated what is the cause of cognition. Then he, again, he got the idea, got the, got the answer, the cause of a cognition is again name and form. In that time, Lord Buddha has told a, a pian of joy that is, uh, nam, if vinyanan uh, nam rupang naparangachanti. That means uh, the cognition is not uh, going uh, without name and form. It always in the cycle of name and form. That means uh, that's a cycle, name, form, cognition, name, form, cognition. That's, I will explain, wait, huh? uh, name, form, cognition. And that time, Lord Buddha has told a pian of joy that is uh, not even uh, our Gautama Lord Buddha, as well as the Vipassi uh, Sutta called about how the other Buddhas um, attain the Buddhahood. It also explains in this time, they got the main point, name, form, and cognition. It's the most deepest point of the Dhamma. That means, uh, name. Uh, then he uh, told a pain of joy. Uh, I have comprehended, that means, uh, I, I have comprehend, I comprehend the uh, way, to, uh, way to insight. I, I got I got the way I got the way to uh, I uh, comprehend the way to insight how to do the insight. So then there is another two things ignorance and preparations. First, uh, understand very clearly the main point of dhamma is the cycle of name, form, and cognition. The the unknowing of this we call ignorance. The preparating of this cycle we call preparations, sankhara. Then I will explain to you. Then what is uh, name, form, and cognition? Now you can hear my sound. As a ordinary people, as an ordinary person, you may feel is Bhante speaking. I am listening. Oh, you. Uh, if you see something, you feel uh, there's a visual and I'm, I'm seeing. But according to your experience, it is just a cognition for you. Uh, another way, according to your present moment experience, uh, actually, there's a sound, the reflection of my sound, and there's a sen there's a sensation because uh, because of the sensation, uh, your your mind uh, wake up, uh, your mind wake up because of the sensation, uh, because uh, your concept of self uh, wake up by the sensations. When my sound is there, then sensations, then then you perceive it perception, then you understand this by intentions. Then there is a contact. Contact means then you think, oh, there's Bhante is existing, I am existing, and my and the, and my uh, mind is uh, understanding this. And I am cognizing this myself. And there's a the together going of three three parts. The pus also there, then the attention also there. Another way I can tell the external reflections and uh, the brain, 
with no nervous system the brain and uh, the brain and external things that is name and form the, the preparations of those the external thing and the and the naming but once you hear my sound there is just a just external uh, reflection and understanding and naming nothing else but that means what a nama rupa means a cognition because of this name and form your mind makes you a duality now you hear my sound uh, it is just a uh, according to your experience uh, a reflection of my sound and just understanding that but after this experience uh, quickly your deluded mind shows you a duality here is an independent bante sound and here is independent understand un the person who understanding and the ear sound and ear that is true the, because of the addition of sound and ear you feel the experience you feel the cognition of ear but your experience is just the cognition and after this after the, after this cognition again mind shows you a duality here is the sound here is the person who listening sound and ear so the cognitions the consciousnesses work is showing this duality the vijnana means i again tell you vijnana mean jnana there is a vijnana mean prefix and uh, stem uh, v mean uh, a prefix jnana mean uh, the stem of jnana the word jnana is uh, janati janati bin understands then uh, understands mean uh, in the as a verb the stem and then the noun is uh, jnana understanding then we mean a prefix about uh, specially uh, uh, like specially specially understands special understanding that's we called vijnana so how vijnana works it it understands uh, specially understands how as i and ear i and sound i and visual ear and sound nose and smells tongue and tangibles body and uh, tangibles uh, tongue and uh, taste mind and thoughts that is the work of cognition that is work of consciousness the vijnana first thing you might uh, you must have to understand don't fear to those words those words just words lord would always taught us focused on our experiences focused on our, uh, what we can feel what we can understand while listening to the dhamma also i mean in sutta pitaka he always focused on uh, our, our experiences not about a theory in sutta pitaka he he never told a theory he always focused on uh, the present moment understanding that's why in the vimukta aitana sutta lord buddha had preached anyone can attain the arahantship with five ways someone can attain the arahantship while listening to the dhamma someone can attend the arahantship while preaching the dhamma someone can attend the arahantship while uh, chanting the dhamma but with understanding uh, uh, and someone can attend the arahantship while contemplating the dhamma in the mind thinking the thinking about dhamma in the mind and the fifth one some people can understand the dhamma, attend the arahantship while meditating the fifth one is the meditating there is another four ways not only meditation in the you can find the vimukta aitana sutta uh, so now the, we know the way the work of cognition the work of consciousness now you can hear my sound it is a name and form yeah if you tell me i am 
I'm I'm listening. That means a name and form, external external thing, external uh, reflection and like external reflection of my sound and sensation, perception, uh, intention, contact and attention. That means uh, if I if I interpret it as the as the modern way, I can tell the external sound, the reflection of sound and uh, the work of brain. Brain understands it. When it understands, uh, in the con uh, then um, once my sound uh, comes to you, your idea of self, your idea of self, awake, awake by, uh, wake up by the sensation. Then perceive that sensation. Then understand that. Then there's a. Uh, then uh, you divide the three parts of Bhante sound uh, and my ear, and I am listening. The three parts: the contact, then the attention. Another example: you touch a, a hot water glass. There's a, a hot water glass, and the uh, uh, this hotness is the form. It reflects. Now you are watching TV. You you touch that hot water glass. Once you touch the hot water glass, firstly you feel, according to your experience, firstly you feel the sensation. Oh unpleasant sensation then you perceive that oh the um, hand is burning uh, then uh, you understand um, i need to take out take off my hand and uh, um, like that uh, first you touch the glass you feel unpleasant sensation then you perceive oh i perceive it as a unpleasant sensation that is the perceiving the sensation then you, per you then you perceive the sensation as a unpleasant then uh, then you understand so hand is burning that is the intention and that time uh, you have the contact oh here's the hot water glass and here is my hand and i am feeling uh, unpleasant i my hand is my i'm feeling th that is a three three parts then the contact and there is an attention also for that we call name and form once you experience something that is just a name and form Name and form means a cognition. Name and form means a cognition. Nothing else. A, a cognition equals to name and form. A cognition equals to form and uh, sensation, perception, intention, contact and attention. That's called cognition. And those name and form are included in a one cognition and because of the ignorance because of the avijja uh, always this cognition is reflecting but the pure cognition just a cognition but because of avijja because of ignorance the cognition becomes manifesting not not manifesting it becomes manifesting then it mani manifests here is the glass here is I am the person who's feeling, who's experiencing. Here's the sound, and the, here's the person who listening. That is the work of cognition. In Mahanidana Sutta, in Manchimanikaya, the middle length discourses, Lord Buddha has explained the deepest point of Dhamma is this uh, name form and cognition. The cycle of name form and cognition. There is a uh, there is a naming, and there is a uh, there. Now uh, I will explain it by a by an example. Now you can hear me. That means a name and form, and because of name and form, you you feel uh, you feel uh, uh, you feel there. Here's a sound. Here is I am, and because of. Uh, uh, because of this uh, making duality because of this duality again uh, name and form you feel another name and form again uh, a duality you, you show the duality again name and form duality again name and form duality can you understand because of this duality making duality uh, you accept other name and forms as things Again, I will ex explain. Uh, 
my sound means just a cognition just a name and form but uh, the diluted mind shows you a duality oh here's the sound here's the person here's the uh, here's the ear then again uh, another way can explain uh, here, uh, when the vijnana becomes uh, consciousness becomes manifesting it shows uh, it shows the our oh, ear and the sound or oh, the name and the form the duality it shows the duality uh, by this my uh, now you can hear my sound that is just listening just a just a cognition just you listening but because of the diluted mind because that means just a, a name and form but because of the ignorance it shows you or oh, here's the uh, here, here's the naming here's the form or oh, here's the external thing here's the internal thing you must understand in each and every parts of the Uh, dependent origination that means avijja sankara vijnana nama rupa uh, then uh, salayatana pass uh, vedana tanha those all things within all these uh, doubles within all these doubles there's a deepest point that is name form and cognition for the uh, for this process of name and form and cognition we call preparations the 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 unknowing of this preparation we call ignorance as an example uh, ignorance means uh, the definition of ignorance is dukkha ajnana dukkha samudaya ajnana dukkha nirodaya ajnana dukkha nirodagami patipadaya ajnana unknowing of the suffering and the cause of suffering and the cessation of suffering and the unknowing of the path to cease the suffering that we call avijja now uh, you can uh, hear my sound so that's listening a uh, lot would explains avij uh, the deepest way deepest uh, suffering is panchopadana kanda dukkha once you take my sound as a thing once you conceive my sound as a thing as bante sound and i am listening there is that's the uh there we we can have uh the the suffering because lord buddha explains three type of sufferings in uh, dhamma one is dukkha dukkha viparinama dukkha and sankhara dukkha please clear your mind and listen very carefully yeah don't think of any other teachings or another thing after this sermon you can compare those just now listening listen well uh one is dukkha dukkha viparinama dukkha and sankara dukkha 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 means uh the normal uh, sufferings like when we become sick when someone died uh, then we can feel the dukkha dukkha and viparinama dukkha means when something changes we can have the viparinama dukkha the dukkha of the suffering of change then the most deepest one is sankhara dukkha the preparing also suffering once we perceive once we conceive uh, the eye and visual ear and sound oh there is a world and here is i am once we feel here is i am here is world that, that this preparation also stressful because of this uh, conceiving there's uh, there's a mental fatigue mental restlessness and unsatisfaction those all things included uh, in sankhara dukkha once we preparate it so if you uh, once when you while when you listen, listen to my sound if you take this sound as bant is speaking i am listening uh that is if you conceive like that that is suffering 
because of that uh, because of if if you conceive if i uh, if i is called to you you may feel uh, unhappy but if you have if you hear my sound as just a cognition as just a name and form nothing else you will not find uh, you you will not feel any un unhappy and un unless uh, even i was called you now one understands the conceiving is the preparation is dukkha and you don't know the way to see the, the the cause of suffering the cause of suffering is we have a fo force uh, we have a force of craving to take uh, this duality to uh, to conceive like world and me that's why uh, in in this topic is so large uh, can explain a very big time uh, have so many references comes to my mind but no no time to tell all the reference suttas uh, in majje sutta lord buddha explains uh, there is a uh, two ends and middle is the craving uh, one end uh, like uh, this contact to another contact and the middle is uh, the cessation of contact uh, li listen well uh, something uh, you can think uh, there is so many definitions to that sutta uh, that is two ends and the middle the middle is craving craving uh, like uh, i will tell the uh, stanza that is rather better yo ubhante viditvana majje mantha nalipati thangrumi mahapurisoti soda sibbani machaga that means yo ubhante viditvana if someone uh, comprehend the duality the two ends majje mantha nalipati and uh, detach to the uh, the middle tambrumi mahapurisoti i told him as the great person so the sibri machaga he he overcome the overcome, overcome the tailor and we have some problems what are the two ends what is the middle who is the tailor the tailor is the craving two ends are uh, the external things that means external sensation external senses and internal sen senses middle is consciousness uh, there is six type of uh, definitions has given to the same stanza another thing is one uh, one end is uh, the contact the another end is the the next the arising of next contact the middle is the cessation of contact but uh, the craving is the a tailor what this craving do is it shows you in according to first definition it shows you it uh, it uh, it makes uh, it shows you as uh, i and visual world and um, world and i without show the uh, co cognition it uh, swing by the craving he always ignore the middle and uh, and so the and swing the uh, both enders, uh, ends then you feel just i uh, and visual ear and sound that's only uh, the craving ignore the middle called uh, the cognition this is just a cognition um, craving ignore that and he, he, she uh, swing the two ends only as i uh, and visual ear and sound that's only it all ignore the cognition so that's the craving is the uh, you, you don't know this uh, making duality uh, uh, you, you don't know the uh, the arising of the suffering because of this the work of craving so that's why you take the experiences as world and i i and visual visual ear and sound like that way then the cessation of suffering is uh, once the craving will uh, ceases 
uh, then uh, you may you can understand this movement as this movement as a cognition as a just name and form so uh, the path to cease the suffering is uh, you understand this properly and be moral and do effort to uh, stable this understanding then you if you find the stable understanding the that is the noble eightfold path you don't know that so that is the ignorance now you now you uh, if you listen to my sound now we can explain until the decay and death my sound just uh, you take it as bhante speaking i am listening then there is ignorance ignorance mean there is preparing uh, prepared prepared how bhante sound and i am then because of preparing uh, the cognition uh, co cognition uh, because of this preparing the duality uh, the cognition is uh, manifestive cognition is reflective not not non reflective in it uh, reflective the uh, duality because of this reflective cognition the name and form uh, again and again uh, be, uh, find the footing find the footing as uh, external thing and its internal understanding duality because of this name and form uh, you feel i and so i and i and ear i i and visual ear and sound the six sense bases because of this six sense bases the you you feel contact there is an independent external thing independent that independent bante sound independent uh, ear and independent uh, self who is experiencing the contact also there once contact is there there is sensations you know, sensation also find a footing oh i am feeling uh, i am feeling the i'm i'm feeling this uh, sound i i'm uh, i have a uh, sensation i i'm feeling the sensation like that way. from this sensation you feel craving if the sensation pleasant you have a craving to gain it again and again if this sensation is non pleasant uh, unpleasant you feel to uh, get rid from this separate from this sensation is is if is this if this uh, neither pleasant nor unpleasant you feel to continue this sensation because this sensation uh, because of the sensation the craving craving to clinging you click into uh, gain it to continue it to separate from it because of this clinging you feel the concept of existence oh here is an independent external world and i am living in this real world feeling of existence because of this uh, concept you have to uh, you have to born in another place in the final time in your final moments when the death moment uh, the name and forms reflect uh, to your mind sometimes you listen uh, some people going to die and they uh, again uh, they feel uh, uh, they got the life life again in that times they sometimes telling i i look uh, mother's womb i look uh, fire i look uh, i saw gods or something like so because why the final movement um, according to the karma according to the karma uh, the reflecting things uh, the name and forms comes to him but uh, he needs to cling uh, cling that as a thing or well, as i am uh, uh, he need uh, the consciousness the cognition must be uh, manifest you to understand this must have to manifest reflect uh, that uh, when the cognition uh, catch this cling this cling this that object cling that name and form he have to born in another place unless uh, if not uh, if not he uh, cling that a uh, name and form uh, he, he cannot go to another place because this is uh, lord buddha ask one day uh, what is the cause to uh, go fire go wild fire to one tree to another another tree the simple answer is wind 
wind is the cause. So uh, as this way, the clicking is the cause to go to this, this life to another life. There is nothing else go with that. There is no any soul, no any self to go this, this moment to another moment, another life. Like if you uh, roll some two papers, the two papers in uh, two uh, in 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 one line, you uh, you fire the first first, uh, pap first papers of uh, uh, first paper uh, in one side, then it uh, burn step by step, then it come to the next corner, then after that uh, you have a little gap. After that, another paper, another paper also. Uh, get fired by by the wind in another paper also uh, burning there is no, nothing uh, come from this to this one just a uh, just a, a clicking just a just a clicking come to that like that way if your uh, mind if your cognition becomes non manifest you becomes non reflective about uh, the name and forms you cannot go to another birth because the last moment the cognition needs to catch the name and form but if if it's not catch the name and form uh, you can't go to another place the life the samsara is end ended so it's existence to birth you have the concept of existence you cling it as oh this is the real uh, if you see in the last one if you see a mother's womb oh this is real and i'm experiencing then in that very time uh, you uh, uh, die in this life and born in another in a mother's womb or something like that so uh, if you uh, become if you birth if you're born you have to face to uh, the entire mass of suffering uh, with decay and death but Lord Buddha explains, Avijha yatve vases a viragani rodo. But uh, there's a word, Avijha yatu eva. That means, but uh, by the cessation of the ignorance, if you cease the ignorance as uh, taking this moment as a thing, as a, uh, as, as a thing without taking just a cognition, my sound, uh, if you hear my sound, that is just a cognizing without an experiencing thing or experiencing person just cognizing by the cessation of the ignorance there is no preparations as bante and i just the cognition is there if there's no preparation there is no uh, cognition the cognition becomes non manifest you i told you uh, the late day about one stanza vijnanam ani dasanam anantam sabbhuto pabang ittana apocha patavi tejo vayona gahadati etta dikancha rasancha anunthulam subhasubang etta namancha rupancha ase samparujyati vijnana sanirodhena ette tam purujyati when the consciousness the cognition becomes non manifest you by the uh, by the endless uh, illumining of wisdom in that place, once the consciousness become non manifest you in that place, the solidity, liquidity, temperature, wind will not find a footing. The long, the concepts of long, short, uh, gross or subtle, a concept of uh, good or bad, it, those will not find a footing. The name and form, the external things and naming will not find a footing. Those will disappear uh, in, uh, by the cessation of the cognition. All things will by the session of the work of cognition in that way there's a cessation of ignorance the preparation ceases there is no preparations the consciousness become non manifest you the con consciousness non manifest you the name and form uh, cannot uh, find a footing there's a, just a cognition only no no any idea of external no internal external uh, thing reflection no internal naming and the sensation perceptions intention will not find a footing if there is no uh, name and form there is no any concept about uh, i and visual ear and sound sensations or uh, success bases are ceased there is no success bases 
there is no contact. Contact as uh, external thing, internal thing, and middle. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, there is no together going of three things. There is, if you not uh, feel the sound as a thing, you will not feel any sensation because of this sound. If, if, if I, that, that means the sensation will not find a footing. That is a, not about a sense. You have no any concept about sensation. Because uh, you already see the concept of I, the person who experiences it. If there is no any person to experience, the sensations will not find a footing. Sensation ceases. From the sensation of sen sensations, uh, the craving, there is no craving. Craving to what? Because the, the person who experiences is already cut off. Then there is no uh, craving, there is no clinging. To uh, to continue war again, no uh, separate. There is no uh, no clicking. Is there no clicking? There is no any idea of uh, existence, no any idea of world and I. Just have the cognition. By the cessation of cognition, the cessation of existence, there is no birth. If there is no birth, no decay and death. That is the cessation of the entire mass of suffering. The main root is in the cycle of name, form, and uh, cognition. Name, form, and cognition. So uh, I think this living origination maybe need another sermon also to understand well. Uh, the main root is name, form, and cognition. That means, again, I explain for a little bit uh, as my sound, uh, the, because of because of my sound and your uh, your mechanism your body understanding the sensation perception intentions uh, contact and attention you feel uh, you you feel a cognition how as a, a cognition because of this cognition again uh, mind shows you a duality as uh, sound and uh, sound and um, the person who listening that that also uh, that also cognition of the mind then again uh, that shows you a duality again it is that that duality also a cognition then again that duality uh, means a cognition uh, this cognition to another duality uh, you, you can understand you can uh, think about this later and listen this sermon again and again then you can understand well uh, so there's a cycle because the work of this cycle unknowing of this cycle called ignorance and uh, the preparation of this cycle called preparations so because of this cycle that's why lord buddha has uh, told why when he attended the buddha buddhahood uh, i comprehended i have comprehended the way of insighting So, uh, practice like this, uh, you can attend the, uh, once you understand, uh, if you, once you comprehend the dependent origination, you, you uh, if you uh, understand the dependent origination, you may see the Dhamma. If you see the Dhamma, you can see the Lord Buddha. That is the uh, way, this is the path. Uh, if I tell this simply, don't take this uh, movement, these experiences as things. This movement is just a cognition uh, without, uh, without an observer and without an observing thing. That is enough. This movement is just a cognition without an observer and observing thing. So practice like this way and I wish you all to attend the Supreme List of Nibbana in this very life. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sad, sad, sad. Very well explained, Bhante. Sure. Can we take question, questions? Okay. Can take. Uh, are you sure? Is it uh, under, understandable? No, like like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they, it, it, it little bit difficult, but we have to listen again this sermon. 
सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटर सो कु प्रश्न है वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माय साइड बनते नेम फॉर्म एंड कॉग्निशन यू कैन एक्सप्लेन लिटिल बिट मोर uh you can understand uh, in a, uh, if i give a, another comparison you can tell it as a work of the work of brain and nerve system that is uh, there's a external reflection is the form name means naming the primarily aspect of naming something mm. the blind person uh, understands something by sensations perceptions intention contact and attention mm. uh so now you hear my sound mean there's a sound comes to your ear and there is a sensation this sound uh, your uh, yourself the concept of self uh, awakened by the sensation okay sensation then you uh, perceive that sensation then because of this sensation and perception you under, understand it as an intention mm. once you understand it once you have an intention then you divide the three parts Oh, there's the uh, Bante sound. Here is uh, I am, and uh, and and this is and I am experiencing as the I sound, the ear sound, and con consciousness and cognitions. Mind show, um, mind divided those automatically. Um, mind got established on those. Then you also, you have an attention also. Okay. Uh, that in simply way this movement just a name and form here sound and the naming yes uh, but uh, name and form means a cognition you know, cognition equals to name and form yes so that means attention and contact this must be there then only this uh, particular samudpad uh, came so uh, then uh, the main thing is uh, the uh, uh, as an example when you uh, when a when a is there as a big um, big criminal in a mm -hmm. in a high court if there is no person to give uh, uh, give the uh, i word mean uh, witness a uh, witnesses uh, the judge uh, um, get a or give a, or give a order to give some uh, give uh, free some person free some mm -hmm. criminal uh, criminal mm -hmm. and ask the old things from him so like okay. that way lord buddha also did like this the the sensations perceptions intentions contact and attention this much time of sansara they fooled us they mm. uh, driven us in the sansara then okay. lord buddha catch the attention uh, and ask him to this much of time uh, you all do the you all this, do this uh, uh, work now will you explain how how this work then this much of time attention was uh, unappropriate ayoni so manasika mm. then lord would ask him to convert into yoni so manasika and once he becomes yoni so manasika uh, the 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 full the fooling of uh, the work of sensation perception intention and contact all this uh, criminal can uh, understand uh, by this uh, uh, by this converting of the attention mm. but the main thing is uh, that the attention also caught can can catch as a criminal after he explains the all scenario attention attention also uh, is a criminal now is a is a is a bad person we can um, when he tell the all story all scenario the main thing is attention also catch uh, as a uh, as a uh, as a as a criminal no the word is yes. the, as a bad person yes 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 okay kona ji ka prashna ha yes bante the attention is the uh, main thing to understand uh, the convert uh, uh, to that's why for the be for be sotapan the main thing is yoni so manasikara Yes. appropriate uh, the appropriate attention yes we discussed in in sambhava sutra before yes bandhu so looks there is no questions 
one question. Unmute Kara. Hello. Bandami Bante. Bandami Bante. Uh, uh, ji, uh, I want to know the uh, means uh, cognition. The word cognition came again and again. Uh, please explain that uh, in a, uh, so that I can understand because I uh, do not get the meaning of cognition, a proper meaning. Uh, 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 cognition means uh, just experiencing. That means con the, this moment when you listen my sound, uh, yeah, it Bante? is just just understanding. Just cognizing, just a cognition. Without, uh, because of my sound and your ear, uh, you experience, you understand this sound, uh, you experience this, uh, this hearing. But uh, your present moment experience don't know about sound or ear. But after this cognition arises, the, um, your mind shows you again the duality as mind and as uh, as ear and sound but you once you experience the sound you are, you don't know about ear or sound you just have a cognition and after the as work of cognition again it divides a duality cognition means just uh, experiencing sadhu 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 thank you vandeji vandam Any questions else? Oh, uh, Antin Gona the Okay, Bente. Uh, I will uh, go for Anumodami. And the Mayam Dhamma Kataya Sadhu Karadadama say Sadhu 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 Anumodami. And the blessings. Okay. Now uh, we can uh, transfer the merits to uh, the gods and our late relatives. So uh, make your mind so happy. I today I listen the dhamma. I take the seal and we discuss the dhamma. And uh, make your heart uh, with so fresh, so happy, with joy. Now we are going to transfer the merits to the beings who are needed. Uh, so we can uh, till this till this stanzas with me. The beings in uh, the hell to the Kalita Brahma world. If someone needs these merits, uh, we are now going to uh, transfer this to those you all. Uh, please accept those merits, and uh, now we can chant. Ethavata chami he sampadan punya sampadan sabbe deva no more than two sub sampati sidia. Ethavata chami he sampadan punya sampadan sabbe buta no more than two sub sampati sidia. Ethavata chami he sampadan punya sampadan. Sabbe satta no more than two sub sampati sitia. Aka satta jabumata deva naga mahidhika. Punyantang anumo ditwa chirang rakhantu sambuddha sasanang. Aka satta jabumata deva naga mahidhika. Punyantang anumo ditwa chirang rakhantu sambuddha desanang. Aka sat aja bumata deva naga mahidika Punyantang anumo ditwa chirang rakhantu sam buddhas avakhang chirang rakhantu mang paranti Idam me nyati nang ho tu sukita huntu nyatayo Idam me nyati nang ho tu sukita huntu nyatayo Idamo nyati nang ho tu sukita huntu nyatayo Now we can do our wish Again, I mentioned imina punya kamena, that means from this uh, merit, mame bala samagamo. I separate from the people who are uh, the who are who, whose wisdom is less than me, who is morality less than me, the ordinary people. I 
separate from ordinary people satang samagamo hotu i associate with only uh, the the normal people yava nibbana pati anti laya tend nibbana the stealing of all preparations so uh, tell with me idam imina punya khamme na mame bal samagamo satang samagamo hotu yava nibbana patiya imina punya khamme na mame bal samagamo satang samagamo hotu yava nibbana patiya imina punya khamme na mame bal samagamo satang samagamo hotu yava nibbana patiya idam me punya khammang asavakhaya vahang hotu sabh dukha pamujhatu sadhu sa so i bless you all uh, someone need can worship na sabhi dio vivajjantu sabha rogho vinasthu mate bhavatu antarayo sukhi dighayu ko bhav bhavatu sabha mangalam rakhantu sabha devatha sabha buddhanu bhavena sada sukhi bhavantu te bhavatu sabha mangalam rakhantu sabha devatha sabha dhammanu bhavena sada sukhi bhavantu te bhavatu sabha mangalam rakhantu sabha devatha sabha sanghanu bhavena sada sukhi bhavantu te abhivadana silis nicham vajha vachaino chatharo dhamma vaddanti ayuvanno sukham balam ayurarogya sampatti sag sampatti mevach ato nippana sampatti iminate samijhatu sukhi hotu nibbana sapachu